Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Uh, today we're going to be talking about how to comment code. Uh, this is really important when you're working as a software developer or just working on a project of your own. You know, uh, you always want to remember what things are doing, what's going on in the code, especially if like it's a longer project and you know you're not looking at a certain code for a month at a t for months at a time or weeks, whatever. When you come back to it, you're going to look at it and then be like, "Wow, I have no idea what's going on here." You're going to forget because you're doing so much other stuff. So if you leave a comment, it's kind of like leaving a note for yourself in the future, saying what saying what it does and it's just, like a, uh, it's just an easier way to remember what your code is doing or like if other people are working with you so someone looks at your code for the first time it's going to be super confusing and if you have comments you know it'll be much easier for them to understand so that's basically like you know why you should comment it's very good practice and you know you should try to, to do it as much as possible i try to i obviously like fail sometimes you know i forget to comment or i just like don't do it but it's really 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 good practice i try to do it as much as i can and let's just get right into it so um how you comment in javascript is that you take two you just write two forward slashes and then write whatever you want i can add another comment right now blah 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 you know it the the good thing about the comments is that the code gets ignored so anything you can write anything you want here and the the actual the actual code will be ignored and it won't do anything so right here we have the function takes a number you know this is a perfect example of when you would want to code it tells me that the function below takes and takes like a number as a parameter and it's just a good way to remember that right here we have the line below will print this should print followed by the number this also tells me what's going on and and you guys kind of get the point so uh, what happens when I when I would run this is that um, let's see it should print this should print one so you see that this prints and then right here this doesn't print right so you see that if you look here you see console log this should not print and obviously it doesn't why because it's commented out so what are these things this is a much better way to comment out code especially if it's multiple lines so you can imagine that like you're right if you have to write a lot of, of comments you write blah, blah blah enter and then if you keep doing this is kind of annoying what you could do instead is just do forward slash and then asterisk write as much as you want you know as, as many line breaks anything you want and then asterisk uh, fr forward slash to close it and there you go so you can see that if i remove this if i remove this comment and then i run it'll print two lines so this should not print that's basically it guys please remember like when you're coding just comment as much as you can it like build the habit all you can do is build the habit and then it's really really you'll find it's really useful in the future hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to like and subscribe have a good one